I was a hockey player. I was a captain in the British Army. As an expedition leader. I was a footballer. I caught a virus that left me paralysed in my arms and my legs. I trod on a, an improvised explosive device um, a couple of days after my 28th birthday um, when I was on a patrol in Afghanistan. On a skiing trip, I had an accident and sustained a spinal cord injury. I broke my leg and then nine months and 17 operations later, the doctors told me it was time to amputate. It's such a big change. You basically lose any sense of yourself, um, any sense of identity, because everything I was before was based on on having legs. It was sort of a dark time, really, in that I didn't really know where I was going to go from there. I'd lost a lot of weight. I didn't really look like the same person. I felt caged within my body. It was broken and it was painful. People told me, I can't do this, I can't do that. But all that did was fuel the fire inside me to want to do it more. Sport offered me a chance to feel some of the emotions that I had before my injury. The great thing about our programme is it focuses on our abilities, not our disabilities. It's given me an opportunity to, to put my attentions towards what I can do rather than my limitations. The level of professionalism is through the roof. The support that we have is incredible. Six days a week training, one day a week of quality rest and recovery to ensure that we're really giving our best every single day on the water and in the gym. If you're not training as hard as you can, as well as you can every single day, then you're going to be off the programme. Being a Paralympian has given me my identity back, given me back the passion and the part of me that I was missing. The things I've achieved from day one till now, I didn't think my body physically could do them. I was a full-time wheelchair user. Two and a half years later, and I'm a full-time walker. The Rio Games will be the first time that kayaking has been part of the Paralympics. To win that first gold medal, I think would, would be a nice bit of closure to show that the injury that I sustained is behind me. The last four years being involved in para canoe has made me believe again and has made me believe in my own ability. I always knew that I could be a sportsman and just for that little bit of time post amputation I lost that. Having no legs uh, doesn't define me. Uh, allow my actions day to day to do that. Uh, I am a professional athlete and I'm the best person I possibly can be. I love what I do and I'm defining the label that's hung around my neck. I want that label to read European champion, world champion and even Paralympic champion. And that label's not going to read wheelchair user. We're all members of the British Paracanoe team 